Want to hear something amazing? Today is Ann Bergman's birthday. Dan is going to have a 10 second head start over Tyler, who will have a 3 second head start over Ann. This is the third year in a row these three people have competed for the A final. This is it. Tyler looks like he's communing with the grid. <laughs> Tyler, how are the Braves this year? I think the Mets are going to really sweep the Braves this year. <laughs> no, he can't hear. No, he can't hear. Yeah. Not even a subliminal And Dan, can you hear me? Anne, can you hear me? Doesn't well, sound like it. Okay. Looks like everyone's set. So here we go. On your mark, get set, then begin. Tyler, begin. Anne, begin. This is it. And I, I will say that uh, I did see the movie Wordplay, of course, and uh, I recognize Tyler from that. Bad pen. <laughs> oh, he's got a better pen? Oh, he's so happy. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. It's like he's grown up right in front of our eyes, everybody. We've seen him grown up, he dealt with a difficult problem. At least he's drinking age now, so uh, enjoy the beer. And as I'm told, is wearing her signature hairdo, two braids down. Oh, I get it. Three down. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, next to me, when Dan started, he had whatever you know, the, the big ten-second lead, yeah. and did nothing. Kevin was jumping out of his chair with excitement. <laughs> yes, I won. Anne has, Anne, actually, I thought Anne is a geologist in life, and I thought she's going to know Appaloon. If anyone knows Appaloon, she'll know it. In fact, she's got, she's got it wrong twice. She's got perigee, which is the closest orbit around the Earth, not the furthest orbit around the Moon. It's a word you'll never forget. In fact, my five-year-old daughter is here, and she's going to know that word, Appaloon, because I've said it enough. Daddy, what's an Appaloon? See, but that just shows her level of what she knows. Yeah, she like found a little word. Who else, right? What? That is the thing. What? Oh, we all know what it's like when your intelligence is used against you. Tyler has broken in, in uh, I was just saying, the difficult part of the puzzle, like there isn't one. <laughs> he's, um, but he got half, the half trick. He also got um, 31 across. The answer is Simeon. Kevin has given us the least helpful clue possible, Sam Blank. Great, I'll start with the fill in the blank. San Mateo, San, yeah. Cisco? San Antonio, San Rafael. Yeah. Uh, San Antonio, San Rafael. But he's, he's from California, so maybe he visits Hearst Castle all the time. It's, it's I actually feel like I know a little bit more about Dan uh, by the fact that his first clue that he filled in was the answer uh, to the 80s pop singer Corey Hart. I'm a little worried about that. Dan, uh, yeah, we're going to have to review his uh, iPod playlists. It's all. <laughs> I wear my sunglasses at night and nothing else. Actually, while Ann and Tyler are listening to the UN noise, 
Dan is listening to Tommy Lee Cook saying, burn it down. <laughs> so Tyler's nailed the upper right quadrant. He's, he's got almost all of one of the most painful words in the puzzle, 35 across. It's balads, which is hard already. The clue in this is envoys resolve them. You need to know that envoy, in addition to the kind of diplomat that will resolve diplomatic issues, is also the end of a poem. It's the last line of the end of a poem. And it's usually spelled with an I. If you'd spelled it with an I, I bet everyone would have know it. But no, it's the alternate spelling of envoy and stops Tyler Hinman in his tracks. Kevin! I blame Kevin! He's jumping with Dan's chair. Um, meanwhile, Dan is filling in the same upper right, and Anne is making progress there, too. Everyone got flea very quickly. 22 across. Tiny circus attraction. This is actually an A clue that <laughs> snuck into the, a C clue that snuck into the A puzzle by accident. Tiny service attraction. Uh, yes, I think I think New York makes you very aware of such things as any answers that have to do with vermin <laughs> or insects. We're right on it. The service was the nicest way. Bed bugs, yes. Tyler's also got 33 down, warmed to, which uh, Kevin was hoping someone would put warmed up, which we saw a lot in the previous uh, in the C round, actually. And he's got bearish, he's got balads, that's going to help with the lower rights. Did you know this uh, poem? Um, I, I knew the alternate meaning of envoy. Really? Yeah. Do you just say that right now? Uh, no, I knew it before I knew it. I did not know Appleman, I swear. Okay. I never knew Appleman. Yes, Appleman. I was also really Exciting. confused by 51 across Stratagem. I thought he was missing an R. Oh, yeah. Stratagem. Yeah, what's happening? Stratagem. No, State Gem. As sparkling symbol. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's the first thing I thought of. State gem. State gem. New York yeah. State gem is, of course, the uh, garnet. Is it? It is. Could be. Is Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Dan is totally annihilated the right half of the puzzle. And yeah. Dan has got to be in the bottom right corner. But the speed at which their mind is working, I have to just applaud. This is more work they're doing right now than I have ever done in my entire life. You say that like it's one hive mind. Wow. The three of them. It might be. It might be. Oh boy. <laughs> Tyler's having a great time. <laughs> Tyler is not aware that we can hear him. <laughs> Everyone has gotten 43 down, enemy, glued as Satan with the. It's one of my favorite pair of clues, actually, because um, 15 across is Jesus Christ with the. We've got the enemy and the Nazarene. It sounds like a, a wrestling championship. In this corner, the enemy. the enemy. And in this corner, straight from God, the Nazarene. And in the middle, to conquer them all, damn fair. And his, uh, I can't tell when he's filled the section that I can't see, but he's got the rest of the puzzle. Oh my goodness, he has just sailed through he's this. Got a, he's got a blank up on Is you Reekin. Oh, uh, well, that seems fair. The Barrio shout Is you Reekin. No, it's I sure can. Sorry, I'm sorry. I sure can. <laughs> Clued as Happy Two. Now he's got it. Yeah. He's got Nazarene. I also, I, yeah, I sure can. There's a, uh, you're the man. You're the man. That's a funny man. Man. That's a very fun, I like that. I felt like the different clues were for regional differences. Good job, dude. That was one. Uh, the other one was a high five. And the right. final one. Yeah. Way to go, partner. Way to go partner. That's yeah. southern song. That's where you're from, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. <laughs> yeah. Dan is completely... It always gets one. Almost. Done. No one, Tyler avoided the year your trap at uh, 45 down. Oh, I hate that Historical trap. Historical setting. Yeah. That is one heck of a trap. Dan, Dan is kind of stumped by the, by the left side of this puzzle. 
has a 27 down clue for the A solver. He says, Amartya. Harmartia. Yeah, that it's is a a, uh, interesting four. word. Now, everyone has noticed that four down, that the largest suburb of Cleveland is not Xenia, <laughs> though that is the only city with X in Ohio. Um, yes. he's, it's actually Parma, not where the hand comes from. And he's got, he's got the wrong wrestling champion. He's got Christ the Redeemer. Well, you know, that, uh, that was another choice for Christ's name. Uh, but instead, they went with Jesus. Anne has also got a problem on the upper left, upper left because she's got grief for the oh. brackets. How sad. Yes. Which everyone, of course, knows the brackets mean it's a sound or a noise or something, not, a, not an actual synonym for what's there. Well, not everyone knows, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows. And oh, but then. She's got two table now, so she knows she's got farm to table. Oh, there you go. Now well fix, done. She'll either keep Griff or fix that to sniff. Also, the, I, maybe the most evil clue, three down, that Andrew's filled in. Compliment of an orange. Like, oh, you're so orange. <laughs> and it's, it's actually, the answer is azure, which is on the color chart, would be the complementary color to azure. I didn't know that either. Right, yeah, I know. Because you're so used to complimenting your fruit, your brain couldn't just work out of that pattern. Kevin was hoping people would put apple in by accident, but that's assuming they get snap rim first, which is never going to happen. <laughs> which is never going to happen, that is true. So, Dan is fairly stuck in a section that's invisible. Tyler has been stuck too. He's looking back and forth. He's shifting between his feet, something that will... Uh, going forward, be known as the Tyler Shuffle. It looks like Dan's error is 44 across. Ah. Instead of FDR, the famous speaker of the advice, be sincere, be brief, be seated, he's got DDE, Dwight David Eisenhower. I think we should have listened to that. <laughs> expressing his dislike of this exact moment. Yay. Kevin could not be more gleeful. I know, Kevin's got the biggest smile on his face I've ever okay, seen. Wait, Dan appears to have... Can have me on camera? He's to have solved his FDR problem. Oh, well done. And he's filling that up. Anne is so close, so close, she's avoided some of the traps in that, in that side, but Dan has got the puzzle filled, he's checking it over. It looks good. Abu is right, the animated monkey with a fez. That's a, if you look up Abu in the dictionary, that's what it's called. I need a word for an animated monkey. Yeah. It's possible that Dan is the man. Certainly he does not appear to have exhibited a hamartia or a fatal swan. <laughs> I thought it was a medical, medical condition. I can't compete today. I've got bad hamartia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, looks nice. Looks very nice. I was impressed with Kevin's clue for nine down. Uh, the answer is coils. If you wrote phone cords, typically, and I thought, Kevin, you're not old enough to remember phones <laughs> and cords. I know that is the kind of clue that at one point uh, someone will look at and be like, Grandpa, can I ask you a question? thinking, I know what I didn't get. <laughs> this is, so they, as Will said, this well, is the... Well, <laughs> Tyler, be sincere, be brief, be serious. <laughs> and 
it's, uh, as Will said, this is the, the third time the three of them have faced each other in the finals. This is the first time that this will be this order of finish. Oh. Exciting. And we moved up the ranks.